Yeah, the reason they've done it that colour is because we're having so much success with it and they want a piece of the action really. Aldi has seen rapid growth in recent years, selling a range of products that look like leading brands. Take their spreadable butter, with echoes of the historic Danish name Lurpak. Yogurts that replicate the colours and lettering of Activia, and instant noodles that could easily be mistaken for the original pot noodle. Aldi say we package our exclusive own label products in such a way that they're easily recognisable. This includes, for example, using industry standard colouring on products to save customers time when shopping. Is this the moment we all finally began to believe? Jubilant scenes in a Sheffield city centre bar as local lad Harry Maguire heads England in front against Sweden. Widespread joy in Headingley as football fans spilled onto the streets. And in Molesborough, Harry Maguire's own corner of South Yorkshire, a sense of pride and passion. Just live up there, not far from and didn't apply for it because I thought it was in Wales. Wales isn't the only place in Yorkshire where sat-nav users have found themselves by mistake. A minicab driver taking one of Earl Spencer's daughters to a home game at Chelsea's ground, Stamford Bridge, famously ended up 146 miles away in North Yorkshire in the village of the same name. And last summer, a troop of South African Zulu warriors on tour turned up unannounced at St Anne's School near Hull instead of St Anne's School in London. You know, one thing's bothering me. I'm here in Wales. Next tonight, 18 life-size dinosaurs will be strutting their stuff in Sheffield over the next 24 hours. Don't worry, Jurassic World has not quite set up in South Yorkshire. We're talking, though, about the Walking with Dinosaurs show. Yes, Michaela Strachan is keeping the beasts under control for the show at Sheffield's Arena. Ooh, what's that? What is that noise? It can't be, can it? No, surely close. not, no. What? Not in the studio, no. No. A real life dinosaur, no! Don't you worry, Amy, I'm going to look after you. That's Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> Was that your tummy <laughs> rumbling? Here's know. Tom Ingle, you can let go now. You can let go. OK. <laughs>
I do around about 20 hours of coaching with the squads as you can see that are training right now and then I do around six to seven hours of um, schools diving coaching which has recently just started in this club we're the first club to start doing it in England which is uh, pretty good to be honest. I come dive here six days a week and I train for 20, about 20 hours but I also train at Leeds as well. Two times a week 5.30 to 7.30 so it's quite demanding but used to it now so I can do it. We normally start off with a general warm-up, mob mobility, like static stretches, then we try and get them to do some conditioning here and there. The dry land is, is very very similar to gymnastics, very similar but some of the things that we do in uh, our dry land is it's only diving specific things. One of the best things that the kids get from it is they just love it. I like that um, it makes me want compete a lot more. I enjoy the adrenaline in competitions. It's a bit different to training because more people are watching you and you've got more pressure. I just really enjoy it. I find it exciting and I'd love to be able to go to the Olympics but I just have to keep training and see how it goes. It's just exciting really. It's just the adrenaline rush like before you dive and when you learn something new, it's just really exciting. I just went swimming at uh, my local pool and saw people going up to dive boards and had a go. I thought it was really fun, so I started lessons and it's all come from there. I think you have to have something up there to be like, you know what, I'm going to throw myself off this diving board. So, I don't know, I think it's just something fun for them to do and once you get into it, it's really, really hard to get out of doing it. So? Doesn't it sound amazing? Really? You don't think? I'm gonna be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but... I don't think we'd be giving up a lot. Jim, this is what we've always dreamed of, right? We're the start of a new civilization. With our own planet. I'll be the one to greet him and show him to the room. Mad will be there too. Has she got everything under control? Do you understand the plan? Yes. It's risky, but she is absolutely sure of it. Absolute certainty can be a bad thing. Well, I'll be there too. So if anything goes wrong, I'll shut the whole thing down immediately. Here's the file you asked for. Legislation to pass. If it wasn't going to make any difference, why target it? Well, as a journalist, you just can't make those assumptions. The official statement from Will said there were no outside influences. Look, the crypto trading legislation will pass either way. Don't worry. It but won't. Your party it won't. Has been struggling to get a majority. All right, Scott. Uh, have you got anything else to give me? Any Today, other information? That's everything. The opposition is trying to Everything's ready. Every initiative and not caring Great. About people. In May 2019, you can go. Green said. I feel numb. I feel numb in this kingdom. <laughs>